The 112th edition of the Zimbabwe Agriculture Show is currently underway. And exhibiting at this year's edition is the Agriculture Marketing Authority. And right now I'm joined by their Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Clever Isaiah. Mr. Isaiah, good day and welcome to the program. Thank you for having me on the program. Mr. Isaiah, to get us started, maybe you can start by unpacking to us what uh, AMA is all about or the Agriculture Marketing Authority is about. Okay, thank you. Um, the Agricultural Marketing Authority is a regulatory body uh, established under the Agricultural Marketing Act. And um, we are a parastatal that falls under uh, the Ministry of uh, Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and uh, Rural Development. Um, in terms of um, our mandate, uh, our primary mandate is to regulate the production, processing and marketing of all agricultural products uh, in Zimbabwe. And we do this through uh, administration of uh, a number of uh, statutory instruments that look at um, uh, various subsectors, your grains and all seeds, horticulture and livestock, uh, including poultry, and recently also including industrial hemp. Those are some of the main categories that uh, we regulate. Having mentioned what you are all about, maybe if you can tell us the role that you are playing in the agriculture value chain. So you, you note that um, the, the Agricultural Marketing Authority plays uh, a pivotal role in the whole uh, agricultural value chain. I think to summarize, um, our role is three-dimensional. Uh, number one, obviously, is looking at uh, the regulations that we uh, administer. Uh, under the regulations, um, our mandate is to create an enabling environment that benefits all the value chain actors within the agro value chain. So that's number one. Then um, uh, number two, we, l we facilitate uh, market uh, development, market linkages um, for the various uh, stakeholders that uh, we work with. Um, you note that uh, when we talk of markets, we talk of markets at uh, three categories. Uh, looking at uh, the domestic market, uh, the regional market, and international markets. So our role is to identify uh, viable markets for Zimbabwe's uh, agro-produce at those uh, three market levels. So that's what we also do in that aspect. Then um, uh, the third um, item, which is part of our mandate, is around value chain financing. Uh, as an authority, we are also mandated to raise uh, value chain uh, financing to promote uh, production of uh, identified uh, value chain. So I would say in a nutshell, um, that's what uh, uh, AMA does in, far as, in as far as our role is, is concerned. Mr. Isai, in conclusion, you are exhibiting a DCS edition of the Agriculture Show. What can we expect? In terms of um, our primary objective uh, at this year's uh, Zimbabwe Agriculture Show edition is to promote development of the agriculture sector. I think as uh, espoused in the National Development Strategy 1, we are looking at uh, export growth, we are looking at um, import uh, substitution, we are looking at improvement of uh, livelihoods. So as um, AMA, part of the initiatives that we are working on, uh, looking at um, uh, how we can contribute to meeting those uh, objectives. So at our stand, we'll be sharing quite uh, uh, lots of information on how we can capacitate farmers to take advantage of um, the opportunities that exist in the global market. Mr. Clever Isaiah, the Chief Executive Officer of the Agriculture Marketing Authority, I must thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mapu.